Not that he got on the shorts, bro. I wish I kept man, them these shorts, my go -to. man. These my go to, bro. Man. I wear these all the time, bro. bro. When I'm watching the Lakers get loose, I'm, watch, I'm wearing these, man. Like, bro. That's my favorite pair of shorts, I already bro. know. Shh, man. Oh, yeah, well, I don't even know if we want to show them, man. They they know what box that is down yeah, there, they know, bro. Yeah. They already know what's happening. Rise, For them sellouts. Both of them sellouts. Uh, uh, I don't know about the 13s, but... The 6s for show. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. I appreciate you guys for all the love that you guys showed on the video yesterday. For those who ain't peeped the video yesterday, I did give y'all an early look at these Air Jordan 6 UNCs. And I also, in the beginning of the video, just kind of expressed to y'all about the whole hitting the thumbs up button. So I noticed that... A lot of y'all did wind up smashing that thumbs up, so I appreciate you guys for that. Wholeheartedly, I appreciate you guys, because I honestly felt like I was I was heard. And, and you know, some of the members of the Army, they did listen to your boy. So, again, if you didn't check out the early look on them Air Jordan 6 UNCs, y'all missing out. Because these right here, I know will be a hot seller, and those are, again, dropping in March. So, make sure y'all check that out. And also, Army, I got another... Early review for you guys, like I promised y'all seen, G-Man gave me the sixes, and he also gave me these to check out for y'all. Now, these were originally supposed to drop this month. This was a January release, but of course, with all the pushbacks, these are scheduled to drop in March now. I'm not 100% sure what the exact date is, but I'm sure eventually we will find out. We got the Air Jordan 13 Retro colorway. is white, University Red Del Sol, and this is a size... Eight size eight right here for you guys. Go ahead and check out the tag. We got our standard paper right here, and here we go. We got the Air Jordan 13 Dale Souls. Now, me looking at these off the bat, I don't think that these are gonna sell out. Now, y'all may ask, why break? Why don't you think these are gonna sell out? But man, before bro. Look at the leather on these joints. Leather is nice on these. You got that tumble. I love seeing tumble leather on Retro 13s. The leather on these joints is crazy. But let me go back to why I was saying that these are not going to sell out. These are not going to sell out because the other 13s ain't sell out. Now, yes, these will be coming out in March. Tax money will be in hand if it ain't already being spent right now. You know, because some people get their W-2s and it's over with. Soon as they get them W-2s, they foul and they want their money ASAP. It's my money and I want it now. So some of y'all probably didn't already spent y'all money. <laughs> if not, the late bloomers who get their money in like February and March, y'all may buy these up. But if these was had came out when they was originally supposed to in January, these would have sat. Again, just like the 13 core purple that they would have came out in December, those would have sat too because in December you had cool grades, you had the patent brands, and then everybody spent their money on those. The 13s would have sat, and then these would have sat as well. And that's probably why Jordan Brand pushed these back because they didn't want two of the same silhouettes sitting on shelves. Now, I rock with this colorway. These right here give me like Carmelo Anthony Denver Nugget PE vibes. And seeing that, that's why I was really rocking with these. Now, I honestly could have went with a yellow Jumpman on the tongue instead of the red. Like, you do get hits of red on the bottom. Now, even if you did get the Air Jordan 13, what was it, class of 2002, the mellows that went straight to the outlet, the B-grade joints, I had them, but I didn't keep them. It's kind of like the inverse of those. Now, where they went wrong with those, they should have did a mesh upper. They did some kind of like nylon neoprene upper on those. And I feel like that is why that shoe ain't as high as it should be. Because I always tell y'all, what does Jordan brand do? They give you the white leather version and then they give you the black mesh version. And the black mesh version should have been those mellows that the B grade joints that went to the outlet. Because if memory serves me correctly, the outsoles was pretty much the same. They did have that hint of red in those two but just in general i don't see a lot of people going crazy for these most retro 13s if it's the og like chicago colorway uh red white and black they do well or if it's like a blue colorway it'll do well but some of these other colorways in retro 13s don't do that hot 
when they first come out. It take people some time to actually appreciate whatever Retro 13 just came out. Now, 13s to me is still technically like a hood shoe, quote unquote, just like the Retro 12s or the Retro 9s, but they don't perform as well as far as sales in my opinion. Or maybe it's just the colorways. Now, just as far as how the shoe look, again, we got that white tumble leather upper. The tumble leather on these, man, are phenomenal. Like, really, really good, which makes me look at, like, the cherries and, you know, some of the other ones that we have gotten recently, like the Obsidian UNCs. And to me, they don't have the tumble leather on the upper like these do. Like, they went crazy with these. I'm also a fan of the yellow that they put on these. Like, this is a nice, clean colorway. And maybe these will do a lot better than I'm expecting it to do. But seeing how the Lightning 4s didn't do well, I don't think a lot of yellow Jordans, and firstly, Jordan brand don't make a lot of yellow, but most of the yellow Jordans that we get, if it's not a retro one, it's not going to do well. Like them yellow toes that's coming out of August, those are going to fly. But I really can't name a lot of yellow Air Jordans that really, really do well. And again, we don't get many of them, but I, don't, I like these though. But I feel like the community, the sneaker community is going to pass on these. First and foremost, we got a lot of good stuff dropping February, March, April anyway. So these may just play in the background because of... You already got so much good stuff actually dropping, but just as far as just like a clean colorway, I'm trying to like name a team that you can actually rock these with, and I can't really name a lot of them. I can't really name a lot of teams that you can actually rock these joints with. In the comment section below, y'all let me know if you were to buy these, what team that you would rock these with. Now, some people may say like the Steelers or the Pirate, but it still got this red on the Jumpman, but it's also not the dominant color on the shoe, man. I don't know. Literally 50-50 with this shoe. I feel like I've never really been so indecisive. Like, I don't want to call these vault approved, but these may be vault approved. And even the yellow right here, this is not like a, a booty backstroke, you know, suede. This is more on that if you got the Air Jordan 13 Chris Pauls. The black ones with a little bit of blue, it pretty much has that same material. Like, I don't know if this is like a Duro Buck material, but it has like this same material on the yellow. And that's the same exact that you got on like the Chris Paul 13s as well. And Army, don't forget to comment down below if these are on your wish list as far as copping for 2022. I honestly have big hopes for the year of 2022, but as I'm really looking at it, like... Looking at it and just saying like, do I really, really need these? Like a lot of these are nice. You know, like the infrared fours. At first I said those are a no-go, but as I'm looking at the images, I'm like, they may have bad. But it's not a lot of like, I really, really need these type of Air Jordans that are dropping. Like if I was to be 100% honest with you, the first Air Jordan of the year that I'm just like, bruh, I need would probably be the Air Jordan 12 playoffs. Like, I honestly could have went all of January without copping night. And there's nothing else that's dropping in the month of January on Sneakers app as far as Jordan brand. Like, the Red Thunders is pretty much it. Everything else is being pushed to February. But from February, I would say the Air Jordan 12 playoffs would have been my first one. Now, if I can only pick one per month for the next few months, the month of January would have been the Air Jordan 4 Red Thunders. But y'all still are sending me images of y'all Red Thunders, and those joints are terrible. Terrible as far as quality. Maybe Red Thunders may be the worst quality Air Jordan that has dropped in a very, very long time. My man sent me a DM with the netting, the cage on the side, ripped open on a gray school pair. I'm like, bro, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, bro. So January would have been the Red Thunders. February would be the Air Jordan 12 playoffs. March will 100% be these. March will be a tough month because there's a lot of good stuff dropping in March. But if I had to pick one, it would definitely be the Air Jordan 6 UNC. So, boy, know in the comment section below what sneakers y'all plan on picking up for the next three months. We got a couple good ones in February, but a lot of them are not a necessity. None of them are really a necessity also let me know if you guys do plan on copying the air jordan 13 
Dale Souls. Let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about them. And none of that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. You got the Air Jordan 13, Dale Souls. I right, mean, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Always remember to hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit them breakable for the uses. He the plug, call them when I need them. He's old tough, but he get a music. Yo, it's old, him first season. Them most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.